Okay, in this video we're going to talk about expander sounders. So this is our wireless wall open area sounder um, or sounder beacon in this case. So you can either have just the sounder or you can have a sounder beacon. Um, there is a, there, well there isn't in the range a beacon only and you can't make this work as a beacon only. So um, to get a beacon only you can, we could supply you with this unit or the sounder unit and you could remove that part and then you would be able to put a conventional Sonos beacon on the top and I know that that does um, actually work. So um, so let's just have a look at the uh, components we've got here. So you've got the sounder beacon and inside there you've got a dill switch which is used for changing the tone of the sounder but it's set to the Apollo tone as it stands. Um, you've also got a, a pot on there that you can use to turn the sounder down so the sounder at the moment is set at 100 decibels but we can turn it down a little bit if we need to. Uh, if it's near uh, where somebody's working or something. So, um, so that's possible. Um, the base, so this is the sounder base as you can see, it's got all the same configuration as the uh, detectors. Um, you know, you've got the uh, log on button there. You've got the barcode with the ID code written on it. At the top, you've got a uh, hole there for the um, grub screw uh, using a 1.5 mil driver. You can screw that through and it will screw the sounder into the base. Um, it is sometimes quite a good idea to... Uh, um, to lock it in because uh, this is quite a heavy device so it does tend to hang off the wall a little bit. Um, in the back you've got a base uh, battery cover which you can remove and under there you've got three C size alkalines and three AA size alkalines. Again um, it's alternating between the two and it will use these if it's actually sounding. So um, let's uh, close that up. Put the back back on. Uh, what we did forget to do while we were there was log it on. So uh, whilst we're in the back of the sounder, um, you've got the battery uh, jumper there, and you've got the um, uh, tamper spring in there as well. So um, so it's all powered up already, ready to go. So we go to the front, we go to add new device, press the log on button and the LED underneath will start to flash. We take our finger off at that point. We'll get the ID code of the device which matches the ID code on the label. We'll accept it scroll to yes and it tells us it's adding it um, while it's doing that we can put the base cover back on it says it's added a sounder so we should see it come up on our diagnostic tool any moment it should be address number three There it is. And then we can put our sounder back on top. And we're all ready to go uh, with our sounder unit. Again, we can activate it if we want to. It's going to be quite loud, I think. There we go. So we've got a sounder unit on. Um, the interface as well.